It's true. I don't feel the same for you. But we're stuck together like laces on a shoe. Tear them apart, then what you gonna do? Get some new laces, I guess. Or get some new shoes. Either way, the games we play, Scorpio and Bull, we push, we pull, <laughs> we butt heads, to say the least. Sometimes I just want to say the least, but you, you come after me, my phone rings nonstop. Sometimes I rip the battery out just to make it all stop for a second, for a minute. Sometimes even an hour, even though I know when I turn it back on, there'll be a shower. Missed calls, voicemails, texts, and such. Sometimes I don't know why you can't give up. I can't understand, because I don't feel the same. I haven't been in love since I was 16. Love should be a two-way street. Ours just led to a dead end. Listen, I'm sorry we took it beyond being friends, because all I really wanted was a sidekick to be joined at the hip. I'm not in it for the benefits. Our love was like trendy shoes you wear until they get gross and you need a new pair. So get some new laces, or get some new shoes. Because either way, this current combination just won't do. Thanks. She's into things that you're not into. She listens to songs that you can't sing to. But she does. Interested in the disinterested, she feels true emotion lies in indifference. I appreciate your indifference, he says as her shoulders shrug. That moment still makes her smile. It was a moment she thought she'd never know again. Freedom from over-explanation. Freedom of emotion. Freedom. I dare you to reveal you to me, he says. What are you afraid of? He asked. Everything, her eyes answer. But what she meant was everything that had to do with him. The scrutiny, the invasion, the doubt, the length her words and actions traveled. No arms or legs, yet there her emotions found her, seated right there before her, perched on the lips of a stranger. You don't know me, she says defensively, and secretly hopes they don't. For to be known is to be judged, to be accepted, to be rejected. She'd rather just exist, like a flower behind a flower, only noticed by those who take the time to care and passively stare. Thanks. off my never bitten fingernails. It was a perfect shade, only offered for a limited time in a trial-sized bottle. It matched all of my clothes and even my room. In hopes of hanging on to the color, I used a base coat. I used a top coat, but in the end, it still broke away. I ran to the bottle, and with the last few drops that were left, I tried to patch up what would slowly become only a memory. That worked for a few days, until it again began chipping away. I ran to the bottle, desperate for one more application of the most beautiful color in the world, hoping to find one last drop. But there was nothing significant that remained. I grabbed the brush anyway and ran it over the tip. It left pathetic streaks of color. I capped the bottle and threw it to the side. I grew to hate the bottle, but felt compelled to keep it near. My left pinky nail is now the only nail that has held up the color. The color has grown out from the cuticle and has chipped far from the edge. Only one speck of color remains. And I think of all the times we've had together. I scratch off my last memory of you and want to fall to the floor, happy to see you go. After vacuuming the rug, you are gone, and I am free from frivolous desire. <laughs> <laughs> 